In this video, I want to show you how to calculate heat of vaporization. Heat of vaporization is one of the latent heat that involved in the change of phase. Vaporization literally means change from liquid phase to vapor phase at constant temperature and pressure. We're going to use hypothetical process paths that I talked about in last section. Now let's first read the problem statement. We have to calculate heat of vaporization. That's a symbol delta H hat sub V of S term. In my problem, I'm going to use S or ACE to represent S term. This is my S term in my research lab. So initial state of S term will be liquid phase. Let's say 25 degrees Celsius, that is close to room temperature. 1 atm. This is the initial state, and the final state is as in the vapor phase. Again, this is a constant temperature and pressure. This is what we're looking for. To get to the final state, we can construct a hypothetical process path. We refer this call first stage. And from here we have liquid to liquid. And you will experience your boiling point because to change from liquid phase to vapor phase, you have to experience boiling point temperature. And the boiling point temperature for Aston is 56 degrees Celsius. The heat involved in this process is the specific entropy heat. Now from boiling point temperature liquid phase, you will go into aston boiling point temperature in the vapor phase. And again, the boiling point temperature is 56 degrees Celsius. And then from there, we will build into, this is the second pass, this is the third pass. The second pass, because it's at the same temperature at boiling point temperature, then the heat involved in that is the vaporization heat at boiling point. And lastly, we have specific entropy change in the last third phase. Because we talk about hypothetical process paths to the system, specific entropy change in this case would be heat of vaporization equal to the first phase specific entropy change plus specific entropy change in the second phase that is the vaporization at boiling point temperature boiling point and don't confuse boiling point with bubble point uh, we normally write boiling point just one symbol and so that don't confuse you Then plus the specific entropy change in the third phase. And from this value, we can look at the table. I believe in table B1 in the textbook. And for the first phase and the last phase, we can notice the difference is that the temperature is the same. The final temperature equal to initial temperature. And here is from 25 degrees to boiling point temperature. This is the liquid phase. And this is vapor phase. So the first phase, we have to calculate specific entropy change using heat capacity. At constant pressure, heat capacity seeps up P. Starting temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Then we'll reach to boiling point temperature. Again, I like to use just the B to differentiate with bubble point. Right, and at the temperature, dt. And we can find the constant use for heat capacity from table B2. And the second state, we can look at this heat of vaporization at the boiling point 
from table B1. And in the third stage, we can calculate again because it's a vapor phase. This is the liquid phase. The third stage is a vapor phase, astron. And then in this day, it will change from boiling point temperature to the final temperature that's 25 degrees again. And that is boiling point temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. And we see the boiling point temperature for Aston is 56 degrees Celsius. Okay, now let's look for constant for heat capacity from table B2. Here's my table V2. The first species is Aston. That's awesome. Now we have liquid phase. In the first line, in the second line, we have gas phase. And then you can look for A and B constant. Simply write it down. Oops. Sorry. From table V2. We have as John in liquid phase, A is 123 times 10 to the negative 3, B is 18.6 times 10 to the negative 5th. For Aston gas phase, A is 71.96 times 10 to the negative 3, B is 20.1 times 10 to the negative 5th. C is negative 12.78 times 10 to the negative A. Then we can calculate delta H sub 1. This is the aston in the liquid phase from 25 degree to boiling point temperature that is 56 degrees Celsius. And heat capacity is A plus BT dt. Simply substitute this number into this equation. Then using your scientific calculator, you can calculate the integral from initial temperature to final temperature. Then I get 4.05. Hopefully that's what you get. And you have the unit kilojoule per mole for specific enthalpy change. Next, we can look for table B2. This is the first phase, and now is the second phase. Table B2. No, I'm sorry, this is table B1. Let's go table B1. Aston's all the way in the front. Right? There you go, Aston. Boiling point temperature is 56 degrees and the vaporization. Boiling point temperature at the boiling point temperature. That is 30.2. Let's double check the Unit is kilojoule per mole. Great. So unit is consistent. 30.2 kilojoule per mole. That's the second phase. Now the third stage, we have heat of vaporization from, in this case, is the vapor phase. Specific enthalpy change from 56 degrees Celsius back to 25 degree. Some people can ask, is that, isn't that the same? No, it's not the same because the phase is different. And the gas um, for the constant using for heat capacity are completely different. So there's no way it's the same. Then we have, because we have A, B, and C, and I'm going to use the equation A plus B, T plus C, T to the negative 2 and D, T. Then simply substitute this constant into this equation. Then using my scientific calculator, I had negative 2.48. Hopefully that's what you got. Well, I made this problem myself, so I don't really know the answer, but I calculated that it should be correct based on the knowledge I've been learned and been training so many years. It should be correct. I'm just using the problem 
of the Astron I use every day in the lab because I had to do a lot of cleaning using Astron and also I had to use Astron to thin some organic compound. Astron is very good for use a, um, as a solvent. It's also used for extraction, liquid liquid extraction. So we distill Astron a lot in the lab. Okay, the sum of this, I'm gonna copy back this equation again. H1 plus V, again, this at the boiling point, plus third specific entropy change. Then just simply put it all together. This, simply put this number together into this equation. Then I have 31.77 kilojoule per mole. From this problem statement, I can tell you that in conclusion, whenever you have to calculate heat uh, vaporization, then use this equation, write down your cheat sheet. Don't tell your roommate, don't tell your professor you, you watch this video. Close your door, don't let your roommate know. Write down the equation, it's very important. You're gonna use you gonna see this example like this in the um, homework. You probably had to do a quiz like this, or you probably had to see that in the exam. I do have students told me several times that they had to do the exam and then they just feel so confused. So write down this equation in your cheat sheet. Any problem, send me a message, shoot me an email.